Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a basic functional equation. I'll be presenting three methods even though this problem is easy and the video is going to be short I'd like to present different approaches. Let's start with the first method. For my first method I'm going to set this expression right here to something. I'm going to set it equal to maybe t and from here I get the following 2x minus 1 becomes 2t and then 2x becomes 2t plus 1 and x becomes 2t plus 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute that on the right hand side as well and here's what I get. f of t equals 2t plus 1 over 2 which replaces x by the way and that'll be squared and from that I'll just subtract the same thing. Awesome. Let's go ahead and simplify this in terms of t and then we're going to turn it into x. Just by replacing t with x because the variables don't matter here. So if you go ahead and factor I mean square 4t squared plus 4t plus 1 that is divided by 4 and if you double the top here so that you can make a common denominator. Now if you subtract those 4t is going to cancel out and you're going to get f of t equals 4t squared minus 1 over 4. Obviously you can go ahead and separate these and write this as t squared minus 1 fourth. But since this is f of t and I want to write f of x, I just, I'm just going to replace t with x. Again, variables don't matter here. x squared minus 1 over 4. That is going to be our f of x. And this brings us to the end of the first method. Here's the second method. For the second method, we're going to, first of all, let me rewrite the equation every time so you get to see the problem. Now, for the second method, I'm going to manipulate the right-hand side a little bit and write it as one-fourth times 4x squared minus 4x. This is a really nice strategy. When you see x squared plus x or x squared minus x, it makes sense to multiply by 4. Uh, we're also going to be using this in another equation later on, which is going to be a Diophantine equation. Anyways, that's a common strategy. And 4 cancels out, so we're good. Now, why did I do this? Because I want to complete the square on the right-hand side. Make sense? So I'm going to write the 4x squared minus 4x as 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 1. Why did I do the plus minus 1 here? Because this is a perfect square. And that just happens to be 2x minus 1 quantity squared. And we do have a 2x minus 1 here, which is awesome, right? So we get f of 2x minus 1 over 2 equals 2x minus 1 quantity squared minus 1 divided by 4. Remember, we have an extra 1 here, which we have to subtract. And of course, the whole thing needs to be divided by 4. All right, so now we, we want to find f of x, so we need to be able to replace x with something here, but I can just go ahead and do the following. Uh, just replace this with z, or in other words, set it equal to z. So 2x minus 1 becomes 2z. Now you don't have to find x here because we have 2x minus 1 on the right-hand side, and you can directly substitute that, getting f of z equals 2z quantity squared minus 1 over 4, and that is 4z squared minus 1 over 4, and that can be written as z squared minus 1 fourth. This is f of z, remember. I want to write it as f of x, and that becomes x squared minus 1 fourth. This brings us to the end of the second method and to the beginning of the third method. Let's go ahead and talk about the third method, and now we're going to finalize this. Okay, for my first method, I mean my third I'm going to do the following. I'm just going to go ahead and separate the top and write this as f of x minus 1 half equals x squared minus x. And instead of using a different variable like t or z, I'm going to use x again. And I want to replace x with x plus 1 half. Why? Because if I do, then I'm going to get f of x. Because 1 half and negative 1 half are opposite. So we can go ahead and use this here. I didn't mean to do it, but anyways. 
we're going to get f of x plus 1 half minus 1 half. This is going to give us f of x. On the right hand side, remember we're replacing x with x plus 1 half. So we get x plus 1 half squared minus x plus 1 half. And this is going to give us the following x squared plus x plus 1 fourth minus x minus 1 half. And here x is going to cancel out, leaving us with f of x equals x squared plus 1 fourth minus 1 half is going to give us minus 1 fourth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.